Though you might have never visited it, it would undoubtedly strike you as one you've known for a long time. Because haven't we all travelled along with the Kabuliwala as he walked through Kolkata and haven't we all waited eagerly with Minnie for his return each day? Haven't we all set out with Binodini? on her pursuit of happiness and haven't we all fought poverty with Durga and Sarbajaya? Yes, you guessed it correctly. Our destination is West Bengal, home of our country's greatest intellectuals like Rabindranath Tagore, Toru Dutt, Amritya Sen, Raja Ram Mohan Roy, Subhash Chandra Bose and many others. Bengal is perhaps the wealthiest state in India with regards to its diverse culture. From its magnificent literature to the colourful and splendid festivals, there is much more to the state than big red bindis and dhoti kurtas. So, fasten your seatbelts as we are embarking on an adventure to the glorious states of West Bengal. Bengal will be incomplete without mentioning our Gurudev, Rabindranath Tagore. Minds Without Fear by Rabindranath Tagore Where the mind is without fear, and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. The land of West Bengal has intricately woven the many civilizations that have left their footprints here. Awash in the memory of that rich heritage, the state boasts of beautiful coastal areas, magnificent Himalayan hills, historical monuments and ancient temples. So. Is there someone who delights in taking a deep look into the rich culture and history of a place and want to enjoy scenic beauty, then West Bengal gives you millions of reasons to be there and explore. As the popular quote goes, if you want a city with soul, come to Calcutta. Famously known as the city of joy, Kolkata is, in every sense, the artistic, cultural and intellectual capital of the country. Some of the most iconic landmarks of this great city include Victoria Memorial, the Havra Bridge, Fort William, Science City, Birla Planetarium, and Kalighat Temple. But West Bengal is much more than just modern cities. It is the epitome of breathtaking natural beauty. Darjeeling is surely the first name that comes to the mind while talking about tourism. The picturesque hill station offers a striking view of Kanchenjunga. Furthermore, it is the home to Darjeeling Himalayan Railway or the Toy Train, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As the land of erstwhile, Nawab of the state also houses the Hazar Dwari Palace in Murshidabad, which is one of the best destinations for heritage tourism in the state. In short, West Bengal is a treat to your soul. Bengal has been famous for its cuisine ever since the establishment of civilization in the landscape of gluttons made up of the sovereign state of Bangladesh. Generally, a Bengali meal starts with a shukto, a bitter preparation, followed by shak, leafy vegetables, dal, variety of vegetables, fish, mutton, chicken, egg curry, chutney and ends with sweet dish like curd and other traditional sweets like sandesh or roshogulla. Now let's dive into West Bengal's long and ancient history of performing drama and films. From the folk theatre Jetras to the Satyajit Re movies 
Bengali cinema has never failed to impress its viewers. The film industry in Bengal, Tollywood, played a vital role during the Indian independence struggle and helped arouse the spirit of nationalism in Indians. Tollywood also has to its credit several talented and widely acclaimed filmmakers such as Satyajit Rai the first indian to receive an honorary oscar award in 1992 other innovative filmmakers include rituparna ghosh nandita roy and aparna sen among others from the folk tales of thakur mar juli to the poetry of the great rabindranath tagore the splendid array of literature has always been an essential part of west bengal The state has contributed abundantly to the world as well as Indian heritage. A national anthem, Jane Gana Mana, composed by Rabindranath Tagore, and a national song, Vande Matram, by Bankim Chandra Chatterjee, have emerged from Bengali poets. Tagore even fetched Asia its first Nobel Prize in 1913 for his collection of poems, Kitanjali. Bengali novelist. also influenced people far and wide to take part in the indian independence movement with classics like anandamath acting as a wake up call for indians to fight injustice and oppression besides poetry and prose these writings also serve as an inspiration for filmmakers sharad chandra chatopadhyay often hailed as the katha shilpi of bengali literature is known to the average indian as the writer behind present day silver screen super hits devdas or parinita even in the 21st century literary geniuses such as jhumpa lahiri and amitav ghosh continue to win over the hearts of many bibliophiles bengal also has a lot of contribution in the technology Sir Jagdish Chandra Bose was a biologist, physicist, a botanist and an early writer of science fiction. His work in botany is unparalleled by anyone as his invention could understand the various actions, stimuli and responses of plants which also helped him to anticipate the parallelism between plant and animal cells. The melody of Bollywood, Kumar Sanu also known as kedarnath bhattacharya is actually native to bengal and is diverse with singing in languages like punjabi marathi gujarati bhojpuri english etc he is an awardee to numerous awards shreya ghoshal is another prominent singer composer and music producer from bengal she received a national film award a film fair award for best female payback singer a film fair rd balman award for new music talent and has held a lot more achievements home to the cultural capital of india west bengal has a repertoire of textiles and designs sarees are the signature attire for women of all the various styles of sarees don by them the quenta essential red and white sarees the koriel the garud and the tan are perhaps the best known particularly because they are worn on mass during the state's durga puja festival celebrations in the rest of the country cotton sarees like jamdani and silk ones like baluchari murshidabad and tasar sarees with detailed katha embroidery are popular however the finely woven lightweight muslin fabric enchanted artists worldwide and it has always been one of the most lucrative exports muslin not only changed the fashion tastes of queens from the west but also won the hearts of the myriad rulers of india the mughal poets refer to it in terms like abiravan flowing water and buffed hawa woven air therefore the legendary weaves of bengal unquestionably hold a special place in the diverse textiles of india but with experimentations and fusions with foreign and traditional designs the ethereal textiles are sought after even beyond the shores of the country Yeah. 
of the country. So we hope you liked this insight into West Bengal. You can even know more if you spare some time and go there for a visit. To conclude, let's enjoy a snippet of the brilliant and joyful city that Kolkata is. To me, Kolkata Manoj is city of culture, city of heritage and city of surprises. Ami Ujan. Ujan Mukherjee, Abnader Kite. But I call myself an explorer. Loki bole Paris, halu bhasha shahor aur ami bolii Kolkata passionate shahor. Shahor jude jano, premier mursho, halu te ma khama ki, amare green room. Kakhono ne me ashe, hote na parachute, toma ke halu beche. আমার চির কোট কলকাতা তুমিও হেঁটে দেখো কলকাতা তুমিও ভেবে দেখো কলকাতা তুমিও হেঁটে দেখো কলকাতা তুমিও ভেবে দেখো যাবে কি না যাবে আমার সাথে Kolkata, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. 